Hi, this is Matt from Smart Online Tutoring, and this is a quick tutorial to show you how you can use Zoom plus Google Slides to remain totally in control of your lesson materials during your online lesson. So here we are again with the Zoom application open, and I can choose whether to start a call or meeting without the video or with the video. I'm going to start without for now, and this will connect to my meeting. And again, we can click the share screen button here and choose the desktop option. So now I'm sharing everything on my desktop with my students. They can see my Google Slides presentation. Now, normally I would share this uh, by clicking the share button and sending the link to my students. But this way with the screen share, I actually now have control about which of the slides I can show the students. So if I want to remain on slide one, I can do so as I'm in complete control of the slides up and down. So now I can choose which way I want to go and identify or focus on any particular section of the presentation. I can even pause the screen share if I want to. Um, I still have full control over the Google Slides, so I can use it just as if I was doing any other lesson presentation. So if I want to create a new slide um, and add new language here, I can do so. There's no restrictions. The added benefit is that I can also use the annotate function as before. So if I want to uh, draw on the slides for whatever reason, um, I can do so. So that's it. Google Slides plus Zoom means much more control for you over the lesson presentation, and you can focus on whichever area you want to at that given time. This is particularly useful if you want to go to a different website. So for example, if I click on this link to the Zoom website, I can now open up that site and share that directly with my students. I'm now in full control of what they can and can't see when they click away from my Google Slides presentation, meaning that you're in complete control of your lesson.